something. It's all right, yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> all right, I'm supposed to take this from you, though. You ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. You staying? <laughs> yeah. You staying? We'll stay. Two hearts can come together Love can last forever Now that I have found you I believe That a miracle is come When God sends the perfect one Honor all my questions about why And I've never been so sure of anything in my life, oh, I wonder what God was thinking when He created me. Cause He made all my dreams come true. When God made you, He must have been thinking.
Isaac. Eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, as you gladden the wedding at Canaan in Galilee by the presence of your Son, so by his presence now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Greg and Jessica and grant that they rejoicing in all your gifts may at length celebrate with Christ the marriage feast which has no end. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated. Now listen to our scripture reading. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious, or boastful, or arrogant, or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable, or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the, but the greatest, greatest of these is, is love. Let us pray. Open our eyes, O Lord, that our hearts may behold wondrous things. And let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, as we may meditate in the word, for Christ our Savior's sake. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome all of you who have sacrificed your various engagements in order to honor the call of our brother and sister. And I believe that God is going to minister to us today. I will be very brief because of the advice I've heard from, <laughs> <laughs> from so many people. <laughs> and even the weather is telling me to be brief. <laughs> In just a few minutes, you'll be publicly expressing your love and pledge yourself to each other for the rest of your life in secret covenant marriage. I don't know how long you have been in courtship, but one thing I know, within that time, so much has happened, both in sorrow and in joy. Within that range of time, so much has happened, during which you have learned to love and appreciate one another. You have been in a school. You have been studying. You have been learning for this great day. So I want to thank God that it is possible. I am of the conviction that during this time, you have grown and matured in your relationship with each other. And if you remain faithful to the vows you are about to make, your life together will be a blessing both to you and to those around you. The passage your mothers have just read provides all the best advice for people who are entering into a marriage covenant that is called the love chapter in the Bible. With all its richness in advice, this scripture is not romantic. 
Paul was admonishing the Christians in Corinth. And Corinth was a cosmopolitan area. He was directing them, giving them a code of conduct in which they can live in harmony with one another. Because their attitude will preach a message, will send a message to the hidden, to those that don't even believe. That is why Paul was telling them the pivot of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation is love. That is the love God gave you this morning. And it is my prayer that you will appreciate and continue to live in that love. Yes, Paul in his advice, he said love is patient and kind. You have to be patient with one another. You have to be kind. All you best, the best you have is for your husband. And great, all the best you have is for your wife. In, by so doing, you will live in harmony. You will live peacefully. That is the meaning. Today is just the wedding. The wedding is just for a day. But the marriage is for a lifetime. I pray that you will experience that peace, that joy, which Jesus promised us. He said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give it. He said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have to be patient with one another. He said, love is not jealous or boastful. In this case, it will be very difficult to say love is not jealous. Well, Jessica will say, I, how, I love my husband, so I have to jealous him. <laughs> that is true. But that is not, that is not, that is not what Paul was saying. You need to appreciate one another. If somebody has something good, you need to appreciate him. You need to be thankful to God. These are wonderful people. He's an engineer. And she's a lawyer. <laughs> well landed people. <laughs> they have their knowledge. Greg, as an engineer, will want to follow the rules of math, the mathematical rules. One plus one plus two. I have proved that. Jessica, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've proved that. One plus one is two. Jessica, I'm right. Then Jessica will say, according to section one, chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> but the rules of the uh, America, I'm right. In this case, you will be spoiling the Lord. Don't stand on your right. Don't stand on your right. If Jessica does something that is wrong, turn to her. Remember the first day you met. That is very important. The first day you met, the way you look at her eyes, the things you saw there that prompted you to lead her to the altar today. Always remember that day and say, Jessica, I know that you have been better than this. <laughs> By so doing, your love, you will experience that peace with Jesus. One plus one and then is two. But when you go to the rules of life, the constitution that Jessica will be talking to leave his family, his wife, his mother, sisters, brothers, go and cleave to his wife, and they both shall become one. So one plus one is one, not two. <laughs> Be 
because from creation, from creation, out of all what God made, he said everything was perfect. But there was one thing that he made that he said was not good. He said, it is not good for man to be alone. So he took the ribs of the man and made woman. And Adam turned and looked at his, the woman and said, this is the flesh of my flesh, the bone of my bone. I'll call her woman. In Greek, you are a complete man today. Your missing rib has been replaced. So we pray that God will nurture you, will bring you together. That the love you have not experienced, you are going to experience it. Because this is a lifelong journey. The word of God said, when I was a child, I did everything like a child. Now you are no more children. You need to talk to one another. Always try to avoid a third party. Avoid a third party. If there is any misunderstanding between both of you, Jessica, you you're, you're sleep. Sleep. At night, when Greg is sleeping, he's enjoying his sleep. Wake him up. <laughs> Just wake him up. Greg, I'm sorry what I did. <laughs> Even though he won't want to agree, because of the sleep, he will say, okay. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> the same thing with Greek. If Je Jessica has done anything wrong to you, just you, you go to bed. Allow her to sleep. When she's enjoying her sleep, just wake her up <laughs> and say, Jessica, I'm sorry. They will say, okay, let's forget about that. <laughs> if he wants to remind you of it in the day, he said, but you accepted last night. <laughs> <laughs> May the peace of the Lord which pass it all understanding, continue to lead and direct you in all your days in today's activities. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Greg and Jessica have come to make them their marriage vows in the presence of God and of this assembly. The uniting of this man and this woman in heart, body and mind is intended by God for their mutual love, for the help and comfort they give one another in prosperity and adversity, and that their love may be a blessing to all who they encounter. Let us now witness their promises to each other and surround them with our prayers, giving thanks to God for the gift of marriage and asking God's blessing upon them that they may be strengthened for their lives together and nurtured in the love of God. Greg, will you have Jessica to be your wife? To live together in covenant of marriage, will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If, I, if so, say I will. I will. <laughs> Did you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica. Will you have Greg to be your husband? To live together in covenant of marriage? Will you love him? Comfort him? Honor and keep him? In sickness and in health? And forsake all others? Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If say so, I will. I will. Did you hear her? <laughs> okay. To our family and friends. This is a journey these two people have started. But your contribution is highly needed. 
families, friends, and all those gathered here with Greek and Jessica. Will you support and care for them? Sustain and pray for them in times of trouble? Give thanks with them in times of joy? Honor the bounds of their, of their covenants? And affirm the love of God reflected in their life together? If so, say we will. Yeah. Did you hear them? Yeah. <laughs> in the presence of God and this community. In the presence of God and this community. I, Greg. I, Greg. Take you, Jessica. Take you, Jessica. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In joy and forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the presence of God and this community. In the presence of God in this community. I, Jessica. I, Jessica. Take you, Greg. Take you, Greg. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. And sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Let us clap for them, please. <laughs> Let us pray. <laughs> we give you thanks to God of grace for your love and faithfulness to your people. May these rings be a symbol of the promise Greg and Jessica have made with each other through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord. Amen. Hang on to that one real quick. I'm trying to be very careful. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica. With this ring. With this ring. I'm giving you my promise to always love you. I'm giving you my promise to always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Honor you. Honor you. And comfort you. And comfort you. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither my love for you. Neither my love for you. Greg. Greg. With this ring. With this ring. I'm giving you. I'm giving you. My promise. My promise. To always love you. To always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. Honor you. Honor you. And comfort you. And comfort you. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. Let us witness another part <laughs> of their commitment. <laughs> yep. Family, friends, Greg and Jessica have just sealed their relationship with the giving and receiving of rings. Today, their relationship is further symbolized by the tying of a fisherman's knot. It's a true lover's knot, for it is the strongest there is. Its bond will not break, becoming stronger under pressure. Greg, Jessica, will you please tie the knot? <laughs> <laughs> These two cords represent your past, 
each of you as individuals and the unique and special gifts you bring to marriage. As you fasten these pieces together, these actions represent the present, this moment when you join your two lives into one common purpose. The completed knot represents your future, secure in the knowledge your relationship will continue to be strong despite the inevitable changes that life brings. <coughs> Although the fisherman's knot is one of the simplest to tie, it is also one of the sturdiest. As stress is applied, the knot becomes ever stronger. It is the goal of marriage to achieve a blending of hearts and lives. But like the spaces between these cords formed by the knot, let there also be spaces in your new life together, so that each may encourage and nourish, nurture the individual growth of the other. I ask that you now pull this on this rope and see it strengthen under pressure while still allowing us to see the individual cords, just as your support of one another as beautiful and blessed individuals will strengthen your union. As you hold one another in mutual concern and shared respect, may you continue holding each other tightly in your hearts and form a strong bond now and forever. Let this not indicate the strength of your love and be a symbol of your unity from this day forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Greg and Jessica have been together for a while, and I want to tell you that all they've been doing was illegal. <laughs> And now, I want them to publicly and legally <laughs> kiss. <laughs> Shall we all stand up, please? Greg and Jessica, by their promise before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no man separate. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love and sending Jesus to come among us, to be born of a human mother, and to endure the cross for our sake, that we may have abundance of love. By the power of Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessings on Greek and Jessica. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let your love be sealed upon their hearts, a mantle upon their shoulder, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them so that their lives together may be a witness to your love. Bless them in their walk and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrow, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to the table we are your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. 
God Almighty send your light and truth to keep you all the day of your life. The hand of God protects you. The holy angel accompany you. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. May I with joy present to you Greg and Jessica as husband and wife. Just for you dive in the lake. Yes. <laughs> I may never come up. <laughs>